watching kiman ishongwa one can validly conclude that uh, the government has shelved the impeachment motion against Rigadika Shagwa. We can conclusively say that Gashagwa has temporarily won the round one. He has won the battle, but not the war. The war rages, but Gashagwa is a bit relieved. Ladies and gentlemen, why do you think the government has temporarily halted the move to impeach the uh, embattled Rigadi Gashagwa? So if you are joining this channel for the first time, this is Gashi's Kaiman TV. And I always request you one thing, as you enter, as you watch, give me a thumbs up. And I appreciate all those of, uh, who have always given me uh, a lab sum. Can't forget, can't be able to mention all of you, but you have always done me what I would call a favor. So, number one in my view, why the government temporarily retreated is because they adulated regarding Gashagwa. Initially, William Samuel told that Gashagwa is a pushover, but Gashagwa, in the last one week, has proved that he's no pushover. He has proved to them that he's a fighter. He has proved to them that he can also react. The fact that Kashagwa was able to go to the ground and set the leaders of Mount Kenya, especially the leader of Mount Kenya, against the electorate, was a, a genius move, if you ask me. You may not support Kashagwa. You may not agree with Gashagwa. Like me, I don't agree with Gashagwa on many issues. But let's agree. Mgala, Mwe, Nahaki, Mpe. Gashagwa pulled the rug under their feet. Number two is the hostile ground. The kind of reception Gashagwa received in Nairobi and in Lemuru was shocking in my view. In fact, even me, I was not expecting such kind of reception. The kind of reception Gashagwa received in Markiti, I think many people were shocked. Because people actually gave him a hero's welcome. Contrary to the, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the, uh, the UDA leaders, MPs especially, Kimani Shungo, for example, Arabia watu wa siya huzi woga. If you look at these people, they are receiving a, 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 a hostile crowd, a hostile reception, wherever they are going. In fact, the majority of them cannot go and talk freely with the people because of the way they will be jeered. Remember, I think, uh, this able uh, member of parliament, uh, who actually tried to interfere with the Morara Kebasu's <laughs> uh, civic education. And the man was literally chased out of the market by the people. This is, this is the kind of reception I'm talking about. The fact that the ground seems to be very, very hostile to these people who wanted to impeach Gadi Gashagwa might have forced the government to retreat. Number three is in my view. Gashagwa dropped a bombshell. Many did not know that Rigadi Gashagwa and Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta had reconciled. In that citizen interview, Gashagwa told everybody, he announced to the world that he reached out to Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta, he apologized to the Kenyatta family, and they call each other brothers. That's what Gashagwa said. And if you want trouble in Mount Kenya, and I think not only in Mount Kenya, in this country. If you want to trouble, Chokoza Kamwana. Chokoza Kamwana Kagena. Chokoza, the fourth president of the Republic of Kenya, Uru Mwe Kenyatta. If you want trouble in Mount Kenya, speak ill against Uhuru Mwe Kenyatta. And this one might have forced the government to retreat. This one might have uh, forced the members of a uh, parliament, especially from the Kenya region, to and even Nairobi, uh, to maybe tell the president 
uh, the crowds is not very friendly. Hurumwe Kenyatta may be supporting this guy. And I remember the Kikuyu councils of elders. In fact, they were telling Uhurumwe Kenyatta, they were appealing to Uhurumwe Kenyatta to defend his brother, <laughs> Rigathi Gashagwa. Though uh, Rigathi Gashagwa nearby had a hapo beleni ya kionekana diye bae li mtokoza Uhurumu ye Kenyatta the way he was able to troll Uhurumu ye Kenyatta the way he was able to say so many bad things about Uhurumu ye Kenyatta the way Uhurumu ye Kenyatta's northern farm was leaded now eh, eh, sarcastically the elders were appealing to Uhurumu ye Kenyatta to defend and to come out and support Rigadhi Gashagwa but Uhuru wanted I think Uhuru wanted eh, Gashagwa to fight his own battle he may be supporting him but he wanted uh, to learn the lesson. Number four, in my view, ODM is refusing to play the ball. When they started the game, they thought ODM would just follow suit. When the members of parliament from, from UDA, when they started this, they, they had banked so much on Naira Amoro Diga's uh, party. But unknown to them, people like Sufuna, are not playing the ball. People like Babo Wino, they are not playing the ball. They don't want to be involved in the wrestling of pigs. They don't want this. So it is becoming very, very tricky to actually impeach Rigadi Gashawa. Number five, in my view, is the threshold that is required to impeach a deputy president or the, uh, the president. It is not easy, by the way, to impeach a sitting president or a, a, a deputy president. This is because you require a third of the members of parliament to agree to that motion. Leave alone voting. They agree, they sign, and the motion is taken to parliament. After that, two thirds of the members of parliament must vote for the impeachment. You agree with me that it is not a walk in the park. You agree with me the broad-based government may be there, but especially convincing those who, uh, in fact, uh, Gashagwa has also numbers in, in UDA. That's what is coming to, to, to pass. It's coming very clearly that Gashagwa also commands a sizable support from UDA. Now, if you add the number of UDA supporting regarding Gashagwa, members of parliament, and then those who are not agreeing to play the ball in ODM, which I want to happen, you are chasing the wheat. William Samoruto, together with his friends, are chasing the wheat. Last but not least is the sympathy that Gashawa is getting. People are looking at William Samoruto as the villain. They are looking at William Samoruto as somebody who cannot be trusted. They are looking at William Samoruto, who had promised Kenyans that you never ever interfere with his debris. The fact that Rigadi Gashagwa appealed to the hearts of Ke uh, uh, to the hearts and the minds of Kenyans when he told Kenyans that he was pleading with William Samoruto to let him finish his first term, the three remaining terms, I think he was appealing to the heart of Kenyans. And that's how he was getting sympathy. That is why Gashagwa will not be impeached. But anyway, I want you to watch what Kimani Ishomwa is saying here. As a leader of majority, I can tell you there has never been an any impeachment motion against the deputy president. That has been his creation and those that he walks around with is a sympathy-seeking gimmick to try and incite people from the Mount Kenya region and more so against members of parliament.